Hey guys, welcome to your channel. In this video, you'll learn on how to send emails using Brevo. So this video is a full guide on how you can actually use Brevo as well. Okay, so first thing that we should do is we have to open any of our web browser. And then using the search bar is we just have to type out brevo.com or brevo. And then you'll be able to see this first website. So all we have to do is to click on it and it would be directed to this page. So before signing up for an account, we are going to talk about the pricing first. So right here for the pricing, we have a free plan. Okay, so for the free plan, everything in free. So we have 300 emails a day, customizable email templates, the drag and drop editor. We also have the transactional emails, SMS and WhatsApp campaigns. And for the starter, it is ideal for going business. So we have to pay for $9 per month. So everything in free plus these features. Next is the business plan. So this is built for marketing managers and e-commerce pros. So we have to pay for $18 per month. So everything in starter plus these features. And the last one is the enterprise. Okay, so tailored solutions to fit your needs. So this is a customizable price. So I just have to get a demo for this one, then contact them. Okay, and then we also have the conversations platform, sales platform, messaging API, enterprise solution. But let's focus on the marketing platform. So after that, you just have to simply click on the sign up button right here. Or simply click on the sign up button at the top right. Okay, so click on sign up for free. And then here, we just have to create our account. And take note that there's no credit card needed for this one. So we can sign up with Google or sign up with our Apple. So let me just sign up with my Google, then just have to select your account and you'd be redirected to your Brevo dashboard. Okay, so right here in your home page or in your dashboard. So we have the home at the left side. We have the contacts option. We have the campaigns. We have the automations. So you'd be able to see here all of our automations. So maybe in the next video, if you want us to create, we can discuss about automations. So we have here the conversations, the deals section, okay, and then meetings and our calls. Okay, so let's go back to our home for now. And then right here, we would be able to see this setting. So we have here featured so we can boost your influence simplify your connections tailor your path to success as well so here you will be able to see all of our contacts so as you can see i don't have any contacts in the past 30 days i mean no new contacts okay so now let us add our contact first before creating our email campaign okay so right here we just have to simply click on the contacts option at the top left so this one below the home option. Okay, so as you can see, I only have this contact for now. Okay, so to create a contact, we just have to simply click on the create a contact option or we can also import contacts from our device. But for this one, I'm just going to create a contact. So you just have to type out their first name right here, their last name, and of course their email. So I'm just going to use this email to test the email campaign later on. Okay, and then for the SMS number, you just have to select the country and then type out their phone number in this box. Okay, for the SMS. And then we also have the WhatsApp and the landline number. So just make sure that their number is correct. Okay, and after typing out their number, let us now select a list okay so remember we have here different options so we can also create a new list so to show you guys i'm going to create a new list so just have to name the list okay and then the folder so i'll be using this your first folder and then click on create okay and then after that you just have to select a company if it is associated with a company but you can skip this one as well after that just click on create 
okay then as you can see we have successfully created our new contact so we will be using that later on to send our email so since we already created our contact next thing that we should do is we are going to proceed to the list section and as you can see you would be able to see here now our list so this is where you organize your list create modify and manage custom lists for targeted interactions and keep them in a folder for easy navigation next is the segments section so this is where you organize your segments so you can create modify and manage segments for targeted interactions and keep them in a folder for easy navigation as well so here for the companies if you are associated with the companies so you'd be able to see their name right here so for the landing pages so if you would like to get this feature you have to subscribe to a plan okay and then for the forms here you can create our first subscription form if we want to and then we have the settings and now let us proceed to the campaigns section so right here for the campaigns we can create um email campaign sms campaign we also have whatsapp campaign web push facebook ads for the facebook ads you have to take note that we also need to subscribe to a plan before we can access this feature okay so let me just go back and then we also have templates statistics and settings under the campaigns so when i go to the statistics we would be able to see here the performance of our campaigns okay so we have the calendars and the rest of the important details for us to know the performance of our campaigns okay and then let us now proceed to the settings section we have the default settings test list and subscribe pages google analytics and social and more so now let us proceed to the email campaign so just give me one second okay so now let us click on the email campaign and then right here we'll be able to see all of our email campaigns so as you can see i already created one before so right here we can create folder or create a campaign so of course you just have to click on the create campaign option there right here we can create an email campaign so for the regular we can keep subscribers engaged by sharing our latest news promoting our best-selling products or announcing an upcoming event so right here for the a b test so the purpose of this one is to choose an element to a b test recipients in your test group will receive either version a or b so the version with the best engagement will be sent to your remaining recipients so so it is a test if which one is more effective so for this one I'm just going to focus on the regular and right here we just have to create our campaign name so for example maybe i'm just going to name this as update sample and then after that just click on the create campaign option okay and then just wait for a couple of seconds and right here we just have to fill out this form so let's start with the sender okay so just click on manage sender option then just wait for a couple of seconds and then right here we have to take note of this important um note right here so zero you saying in a free email sender will auto replace your domain with this email so make sure that the sender is correct after that just click on save so just ignore this um note for now because this account is not actually active and we're just using this to create videos okay so next is the recipient so all you have to do here is to simply click on add recipients option okay so remember that we have created our contacts earlier so that is the purpose of creating contacts because we are going to select them in this section so just have to select the contacts that we have added earlier so here is a folder and then this is our contacts okay so we can choose this contact or i will also add the other one okay so let's go back to our folder and then click on the contact then after that just have to go back and of course you would be able to see here the advanced options so you can click on this one and you have to remember that we have 300 emails that we can send in a day so this is just two so we have a lot more after that just click on save and as you can see we have successfully added our two recipients next is this subject 
here you just have to simply click on add subject okay and then right here we can add a subject line for this campaign okay so maybe i am going to add a subject line about updates but you can also use ai to improve your subject line so just click on this use ai option then right here we just have to um click on this one or try again using one of these prepositions okay so i think this one is better for this email campaign so all you have to do is to simply click on use it but if you have your own subject line of course you don't have to use the ai okay next is you can type out right here preview text so maybe simple as buy now okay, it depends on your campaign and then don't worry because right here you'll be able to see the preview of the email now after that just click on save and as you can see we have successfully added our recipients our subjects and our sender of course there right here we can start designing so we can select a template so we have here different layouts for our email or layouts that we can use for our email you can also go to the template gallery and then right here we have different templates that we can use for our email campaign then go if you have your own templates so you just go to my template options then right here we also have the campaign section and the code your own but of course we are going to focus on the template gallery or layouts or our own template so maybe i am going to use this template so before using a template it is important for you to preview it first so that you can see what the email will look like using this template okay so i think this one is not for free so let me just close this one and try to look for something that we can use so maybe this one so let us preview this template so i think this one is free so i'll be using this okay so i just have to simply click on use template okay and then just wait for a couple of seconds then right here at the left side we have the option to customize this template we have the blocks the section and the save option so what we can do here is we can add text we can add title image video button logo and etc so for example i would like to add an image so you just have to simply drag this one and put it in the page that you want this image to appear next is simply click on the image icon and then you can upload your image or logo on that section we can also use stock images but for this one since i already have my image so i'm going to use this one for now then after that you just have to simply click on the insert option okay so I'll click on insert and then you'll be able to see that image on that page okay and then next is you can now start editing the background the layout spacing content visibility or repeatable content so for the background maybe i am going to use this one so make sure that the color or the background color that you are going to use is relevant to the template that you choose okay so for the layout we have the spacing as well so right here we can adjust the spacing of the, of the elements that we have added okay so after that let us now close this one and then of course you can also delete or remove some of the elements from the template for example this one i don't like this so i just have to simply click on it and then click on the bean icon and it can upload your own image after that okay so for example let us go to the stack images and then find the relevant image for your page okay so i think this one and then just click on enter and you'll be able to see that image in this section okay and then you can now start customizing the rest of the elements so for example this text so i want to type out my own text so all you have to do is to simply click on it then highlight the text then you just have to type out your own okay and then of course you can also choose your font style okay so i just have to highlight the text first click on the um font style and then select the font style that you want to apply okay so for example this one so you can resize this if you want to and then at the left side we have the background color we have the layout the spacing the content visibility and then the repeatable content 
okay so we have the settings at the left side do not forget about it and then right here when you scroll down we have more settings so for example i would like to add a video so just drag the video icon and then put it on that specific section so right here you just have to simply click on it and then at the left side when you go to the video url section you just have to go to your youtube channel and then just have to copy the link or the url and then just have to paste it right here and then the video will appear in this section okay so you just have to do the same you just have to go to the um, left side and um, explore the settings so for example i would like to add a logo so you just have to drag the logo and then you can put it in the corner at the top center or at the left side of your screen okay so for example right here you can add a link so the type of link link target and the link title but maybe i'm not going to add the logo for this email but if you want to you can do that okay and for the payment link of course this feature is being worked on for now so let us um, skip the payment link now when you go to the sections you'll be able to see here the sections of this template and you have to take note that you can also rearrange this section so you just have to click on this um eight dots i think and then you just have to drag the section okay and then after that let us try to um test this email but before that let us preview this in a mobile view first and then we can customize this uh, template in a mobile view as well okay so after this one we can um send a test email so maybe i'm going to use my other email so for this one just have to type out the recipient right here so i suggest you use your own email first since this is just a um testing so send a test then let me just check my email and try to see if this email campaign is working and as you can see we have received the testing email so when someone received this email this is how it's going to look okay so after that you just have to simply click on save and quit so going back here after that we can now preview and test okay so to remove the sent by brevo logo you have to subscribe to a plan okay so you have to take note of that as well then after that you can now schedule this email campaign so we can send us now schedule for later or send at a best time so i'm going to choose a schedule for now and right here you just have to select the date and then after that just click on confirm okay so let me just click on confirm and then of course at the time so it should be um 2 30 then after that you just have to simply click on schedule okay and then you'd be directed to your email campaign section and then right here as you can see we have our email campaign that is on scheduled so that's it for this video if you think this video helped you solve a concern please subscribe like this video and leave your comment below bye